All right, uh, first off, uh, just very excited for our team, very excited for our players and our coaches. Uh, we played a complete game. We talked about improving each game. Uh, just first of all, our defense holding that group to 25 yards rushing was, was really uh, unbelievable. And that was one of the goals to try to make them one dimensional and uh, try to get after the quarterback and our, our guys up front when it was passing situations. This is a super job. Our defense, I can't say enough about them. They're improving each week. Offensively, um, you know, our plan was we felt like we had to run the football and uh, we were able to run, run the football and I uh, thought that was a big, a big thing. I think we had 543 yards rushing uh, against that bunch, which is which is really good. So, uh, you know, I told our guys, you know, that was one of the more complete games that I think we played since I've been here. So the good thing is we're improving, um, you know, and that's that's really the name of the game and uh, very happy for, for our guys. The crowd was unbelievable uh, once again. And, uh, you know, we're in a good spot moving forward. Question. The uh, physical play in the trenches yeah. on both sides of the ball. Talk about those guys. You know, our defensive front, you know, they've, they've been very good all year. And, you know, uh, the week off, I think, really helped us. We got fresher and uh, we got healthier up front. And then offensively, you know, we just kind of carried over from the Mississippi State game about the physicality up front and getting a push. Cameron Petway, once again, uh, had a had a big time game. I thought Stanton Truitt really came on. He was a good change of pace, and of course Cameron Martin had the big run. So, you know, we didn't have Carry On Johnson. Um, you know, he he was hurt. He wasn't 100, percent and we we dressed him out and tried to give it a see what we could do in pregame. So it was good to to be able to rest him. But probably the big thing offensively is we didn't have any turnovers, and uh, I think that uh, is a sign of good things moving forward. This is one of the most dominant wins in program history and one of the most dominant wins in your career. Even after an off week, you talked about how they make you earn it defensively. To do what you did tonight, how do you explain it? How does it feel? Well, it feels great. Um, you know, we were clicking. Uh, you know, Rhett, Rhett really had it going. You know, him and Herb had a good plan, and uh, we got the tempo going. And, of course, you guys have watched this before. When we get tempo going, especially being able to tempo and downhill run, um, you know, we're, we're at our best, and we were able to have some big plays, and we had the big pass play, which I thought was big too. Sean White continues to improve. I really felt good tonight. He had a couple big runs, and uh, we talked, you know, preseason about our quarterback needing to be a runner, and uh, he is definitely uh, sufficient enough when, when called upon. Yes, can you talk about the offensive line? You know, they yeah. average, average about nine yards of rush. Wow, did we? Wow, that's, I mean, that's. That's really something, you know, uh, our offensive line's getting better. You know, we're starting to kind of gel. I thought the off week was good. Um, you know, we're a downhill running team and we were able to do that tonight. Keeping Darius and Austin where they were the last couple of weeks, is that now <coughs> the plan going forward? Do you guys like that grouping? You, you know, that's just kind of what we felt like. We felt like we played very well the last game out. We felt like to stick with that lineup. You know, Xavier is a very good player in his own right, but it gives us six guys that have started before. But uh, that was kind of the thinking going into this thing. Run from Eli to start the game. That's something you guys have worked on going into this yeah. game. And how to kind of set the tone. Yeah, you know, our, our young guys, we talked about in the off week really – um, our older guys resting them and getting them healthy. And then the young guys, we got some very talented young guys, and we just really focused on the young guys getting more reps. And so, you know, we just felt like uh, getting him the ball the first first uh, play, that really set the tone. He can run. He, he's a, he's a, a good athlete, and uh, we had a lot of young guys out there. That I really felt like took that next step. Nate Craig made a, a really good catch, and, of course, Kyle Davis has played very well you know, all year. So it, it's good with those young guys are starting to grow up. Yes, can you talk about Stan Truitt? Yeah, boy, that was that was great. He was a great change of pace for Petway, wasn't he? He made some great runs inside. He bounced the one. Of course, we got the wheel route to the field. Uh, Sean White just hit him in stride right there. And when you're able to run the football, you know, the play actions uh, open up. How much do you think those reps that he got last week during the bye week helped him with his performance? To my Stanton? Yeah. yeah, it helped a lot. I mean, he went full time tailback about three to four weeks ago. So for him to be able to, to do this and play it at that high, high of a level really says a lot about him. And uh, so uh, he had a very good game, and it was great to see. What did to say about the defensive line to hold the SEC's leading rusher uh, like that and to have the best yeah, performance the, against the SEC? Yeah, team? I mean, that, that, that's a wild thing, really. Um, to be able to hold them to 25 yards rushing. That's a wow.
to do it in the passing game as well. Gus four sacks, 15 hurries. It's one of the more productive games you've gotten for the defensive line, probably in your entire tenure here. Where does, where does that come from? Here? Well, you know, like I was saying earlier, I really think that the week off and we were fresh. You know, um, we were a little banged up the last, you know, probably three or four games. Um, and we were able to get healthy, and you could see they were fresher and um, they disrupted stuff. What did y'all see on that first play that you last Well, uh, you know, really we were wanting to run it. We thought it could be successful, but we also wanted to set up the wheel route to Stanton Truitt off the same look. And, of course, we were able to get two touchdowns off that same type of look right there. But, uh, you know, we thought it could be a successful play. I mean, you never what, – would it go 80 or uh, 78? So you don't, you know, plan on that, but that was great. Can you talk about third downs? That's sort of a big key coming into the season. Yeah, yeah. Third downs. You know, that was one of our, our our points that we were really, you know, wanting to continue. What were we seven and twelve? And you know, our goal was to be fifty percent. And we felt like if we could be fifty percent, we'd score uh, some points there. So uh, we're getting better at third down. Our, our third down defense has uh, has been great all year. I think there were three of fifteen, and you know, I think offensively and defensively in third down, we rank you know in the top twenty. So I uh, got to continue that. Because you were able to get Sean out on the perimeter again for some big runs again tonight. Just yeah. to get, has that kind of been developing each and every week with him? Yeah, you know, anytime like you got Cameron Petway and he's run the ball successfully downhill, they all focus on and this just takes that one time to kind of sneak out. And nobody knows he had the ball. You know, he split them there, and you know he's faster than people think. I mean, he, he showed some speed. I mean, I, I knew he wasn't gonna take it to the house, but it was nice to uh, to see him get a, a long run. Players seem to be really uh, uh, energized by the thing that happened at pregame when the Arkansas players are at midfield. Yeah. Some of your players are tweeting about it right now about not stepping on the AU. Yeah. Do you think that really yeah, added I, something to this I, game? I don't know. I mean, we, we've never had that happen before in our prayer circle. But you know, hey, we're we're, we're wanting to win the football game, and we're we're plenty plenty motivated. Coach, you talked about the team being fresher after the off week. That makes sense. But when you win a game like this, and as physical as they were, you remain fresh. Do you not moving forward right now, you think? You know, um, yeah, I think any time you play like we play tonight, it gives you confidence. You know, we'll see how banged up we are. I mean, right now everybody's feeling pretty good, you know. So, uh, but it was a physical game, but uh, it was a good physical for us. For the big picture, where do you think this sets sets you up? You know, head down. We got three of the last four on the road. Yeah, I mean, uh, here's what we're doing. We're taking one one week at a time, and we're we're, we're going to Ole Miss next week, and uh, that's that's all we're thinking about. So setting up and all, we'll worry about that at the end of the year. Uh, we're, we're playing good football right now. We got to continue to improve, and uh, that's really the only thing on our mind. Because I realize it's fresh, but again, you alluded to just how dominant and all around this was. Can you think of a performance in your career where, I mean, you, at Tulsa you had shutouts and 50-plus point wins, but can you think of one that was more all-around performance? Like you, you know, that it's th this would rival any of them probably. I mean, just if you look at it, I mean, I'll have to have time to, to watch everything and break it down, but when you beat a top-20 team, you know, that played well last week against a conference opponent, I mean, we played pretty good in all three phases. I guess you guys have been great in the penalties department all year, and you had another good game out there tonight. What, what do you kind of attribute to that success? That you're yeah, doing? you know, we talked at the midway point. You know, we talked, and, and I'm not a big stat guy, but a lot of times halfway through the year, you you try to figure out what you're good at and what you need to improve on. And you know, penalty yards was was one of the best. We were one of the best in the country at, at uh, penalty yards, and we just got to continue to build upon that. I think that says a lot about our players and their discipline. I think it says a lot about our assistant coaches. Uh, that's the way they coach, and so we got to continue that. Coach, the jump you last dove did not just run the ball, but also tracking down the the kick returner there. What's that? Eli Stove uh, running the ball and also track down the kick returner there. I know it's called oh, back yeah, to penalty. Yeah. yeah, Eli can run. He can really run. You're talking about the one that got called back? Yeah, I said. Yeah, I just saw the flag and I really didn't watch. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just told me something I didn't know. I don't want this to come across like a hindsight is 2020 question, but is there any kind of like, after you see what he did tonight, is there any kind of wish that maybe you guys had moved Stanton to running back earlier in his career? Uh, You know, I – I think he's in a good spot right now. I think everything happens for a reason, and he got an opportunity. He sees the moment, and now he gives us another weapon, um, you know, in the backfield, a change of pace guy. So, 
you know, big question if you really think about coming this year, what was it? It was running backs, you know, do we have enough running backs? Are they durable and all that? So I think it just gives us more depth. You mentioned it's rare to teams improve during the season. Have you ever had teams improve this much, you know, from the first part of the season to, to now? Um, yeah, I, I, that's a hard question to, to answer I, right off hand. I mean, we're getting better, yeah. but I mean, I'm not, I mean, this is just one game, you know, I mean, we got to continue to get better. And uh, we've improved. I mean, if you look at it, we lost to two pretty good teams, you know, and wish we would have played better. But it's all about getting better. Very few teams in college football this time of year get better. That's our challenge. And if we can continue to do that, then we'll see what happens. Coach Nick Ruffin, I know he didn't play, but he's dressed. He's still a little banged up. Yeah. Him, him and carry on both. What about Kyle Davis not getting in there until late tonight? What, what was the issue there? Uh, he got in on third downs. And we got down thir third downs, you know, early in the game. And he's kind of been our third down guy, so. Anything else for Coach Malzahn? Just real quick, Coach, you, you talked about playing a complete game. And I guess after Mississippi State, you are going, there's nothing to complain about when you didn't necessarily keep the hammer down in the second half. To see that tonight, what is that saying about this? You know, I, th I think it says a lot about the depth of our team. Because we put a lot of our twos in there, and we were continue to play good defense. We continue to play good offense. So I think that says something about your depth, um, you know. And just you know, they we challenged them at halftime, and they came out in halftime and kept playing good football. All right, coach.